Okay, so um, any other issues with that part of the report, which is about the annual report document? As I say, I'm going to make a few small minor changes, um, if you're comfortable with that. The other thing I wanted to highlight on page 52, um, the parking infringements, the, the numbers are in there, but I'm sorry I didn't have in time the, um, what the infringements were for. One was for disability and six were over time and I don't have the locations. So we want in locations in future. Just, just the numbers on Yeah. I think just keep them in case it's not the sightings. So it's happening. Yeah. And yes. so Sharon, is that the total parking infringements in the I mean, in the district. In the district. It should. For that month. Yeah, for that month. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm sure there should be some more than that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's through you, Mr. Chair. It's a resource issue as well. Um, Councillor, it needs to be the people we've got. Animal control do these for us. Oh, I see the animal control guy in, in Princess Street and he's giving out tickets. That's one of the shoes that you're saying. Oh, I see seven get issued. Yes, uh, he's got a, a favourite spot in Princess Street and he's making them up all the time. Through you, Mr. Chairman. I'd actually That's just, why I see the sin block I see just been against yeah. It probably yeah, would be good. Time. probably wouldn't be good to have the locations there. Yeah. Yes, right. We'll make sure that happens. Right, uh, so on, um, on page 56, I uh, just wanted to highlight that the Waikato... Oh, sorry, 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 it doesn't seem to equate, it should be more, it should be relevant, I would have thought. Uh, not necessarily, so the complaint, so I asked a specific question, um, complaint category 2, 1476 has moved to 2181, I says, well, that's a big, that's a big difference, um, you know, why are we getting more barking and roaming complaints? Um, and I discussed the, whether there was a trend or whether we could justify or clarify why that's happened with um, Mrs. Beckett. And uh, she, no, you know, sometimes it's, there's, there's no clear reason of why that might be happening. I, I made, made the assumptions that we're getting better reporting from the community about roaming dogs now. Um, I don't know whether dogs are barking more often because, you know, our numbers of dogs in our urban environment hasn't changed significantly. So I put that down to better reporting. Um, the specific question you were asking around um, infringement notices as well, why is there one more than last year? Is that why? Yeah, well, no. The, yeah. The, the, the number of infringements has only gone up one, but the complaints have gone up 500. That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so if you get more complaints, you must have more infringements. Yeah, and so one doesn't equate. So, not necessarily. So, um, we're very successful getting voluntary handover of dogs. So often if we get involved we hand over dogs and that resolves the situation and we can't always infringe, we will infringe if, it's, if we think it's necessary and, and this council has always supported the description that the senior and control officer uses. Um, we, the, the complaints is, the complaints number is um, the jobs that the animal control guys have to go out to. So you know it does also include um, SOP checks, um, Probably checks related to that. Um, many other things that, that I couldn't rattle off appropriately now. Um, but I will ask the question. Um, we have, uh, we tend to. So, sorry, just to clarify, if the, if the dog control officer goes out to check on someone on a civic owner policy, mm -hmm. that's lodged as a complaint. I think so. It's recorded as a complaint. As a service request. No, I'm talking about complaints received. I don't remember if complaints received. That's not a complaint. Okay. Um, so there's need some clarity around that. It doesn't 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 add up or okay, so things have been put into the wrong box or something. Mm -hmm. something there. So I'll double check that because that um, terminology complaint um, that we're using for the DIA report might be quite different than how I normally report. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, so I'll check that. Um, but in terms of when and how we issue infringement notices, it's, it's not all the time. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I that. Yeah, we would rather seize dogs and um, resolve the situation um, for long term rather than just give out fines and then still have the issue with the dog. So we work really hard to uplift the dog, seize them and euthanize them or rehome them rather than just give out another infringement fine to someone who's never going to pay it. So I don't see it as unusual that that's not rising as much as the complaints, but I will follow up on that and I'll, I'll email the answer. Mm -hmm. I, I personally do find it unusual. I, I think it is unusual. Uh, but it may be very well that things have been recorded against that that aren't really late and that's, and that's fine. But I think we just clarify that. I will do. I'll show that. Uh, the first column, um, Sharon, as at 30th of um, June 2015, does that mean from the 1st of July 2014 to 2015, or is that ones that are already in the system as is? is of 2015 30th of June. Are uh, you talking about a particular line? The same, the whole column, as works that's headed up as of 30th of June, and mm -hmm. the next column says 30th of June, uh, 1st of July. So it's on that date. So, so the second yeah. column typically covers a year. The first column yeah, doesn't say that it's... The first, first column is good through this year as a carry forward from last year. Okay, so they're already 12, in the system. So it just might make a difference because we're not comparing <coughs> years worth with a year's yeah. worth are so, comparing it. Yes, and this isn't a format that's required by DIA, so no. I, I think what I'm saying is we were comparing the first column to the second as if they were both for a year, you know, so, and, and they're not, not yeah. both. So my understanding is it's as of the end of the year, that it's, that it's the end result, that it's, it's a tally, it's not a, the ins and outs that have happened throughout the year, so obviously we would have dogs, dogs, dogs come, so that number would fluctuate every week. So the two columns are different things? No, 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 you're looking at a 12 month in both cases. Okay, so, so, so you're looking at a 12 month window. Say, okay. The 12 month window is on the 30th of June 2000. Okay, okay, so from the 1st so of July 2014. Okay, so what that should be headed 1st of July 2014, and the same as the next column is headed then. We could do this. Yes. yes. And I did have the plans to have Mrs. Beckett here for this report, and uh, I apologise that she <coughs> didn't. So, that's my thought. Um, so, on page 56. So, sorry, can I through you, Mr. Chair, but I may just, uh, and I know we've talked about this many times, um, we're around out of control, and it does come back to uh, Sir Robinson's point about the, um, I guess, the negotiated handovers and things like that. We are very, very fortunate in the way that our animal control works, and they do a fantastic job because it not only mitigates infringement notices and costs on, on our dog owners, it also keeps us out of the courts quite often as well, and that's a, that's a huge burden to, uh, to council. So I just wanted to make that point of view, and we are very fortunate. Okay, so page 56, I just wanted to highlight that the Waikato Civil Defence Group Plan um, has been endorsed by the Joint Committee and Council of Leaders there on Monday, and so that uh, document has now gone to the Ministry for um, a final look, a final formal look, because of course the Ministry has been involved. Um, one amendment that was highlighted within the document was um, the uh, the need for all of us to raise our game with business continuity planning. I think I mentioned this at the last meeting. So uh, the Joint Committee will be looking for um, some best practice and some reporting over the coming year um, of what each local authority is doing in that regard. There's quite a bit in the group plan that we are required to do, but we have acknowledged previously that we don't have the resources and the capacity currently to do everything, and, and that is um, something that we will continue to talk about in terms of what's an acceptable risk for, for the South Waikato and that is fit for purpose. Um, and Councillor Lee is well aware of that around the table. Is there anything you wanted to add there? Uh, no, I think you can. I did actually meet um, with um, some next up here in the chair and we can close the council. Oh, yes. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so. Um, and we had exercised Tangaroa uh, recently, which was another opportunity to have staff familiarise with civil defence concepts and processes, because we don't actually um, engage as often as some of the other councils, because as I continually say, we're the safest district in the region. Um, so that was worthwhile. And just wanted to highlight on page 57 that this is the last month that uh, rural fire permits um, are not required. So as of 1 October, uh, they will be required again. Will be in the uh, rural fire season 
and this year um, the online rural fire permitting process is changing slightly. It needs to go up to Palmerslands, which is our large rural fire district now, rather than the process that Ian has, Ian and the CSOs have been um, managing well. So the, hopefully there won't be too many uh, transitional um, issues, uh, but just to make you aware of that. So who would we contact uh, to get a fire permit? Uh, so if you're doing it verbally, same way, over the counter, um, but for those that use the email system and do it online, um, you'd still use the same system. Um, our IT people are just trying to link those up at the moment. Um, and any questions, still contact Ian, but it will just, it'll come out on Hummus Land's um, um, framework letterhead rather than South Africa District Council because we're part of the larger of right district now. And who knows where we'll be next year? <laughs> well, I hope it's just as efficient as it was in the district council oh, country. Unlikely. Because, I mean, last year I applied for a permit over the phone, and the next day Mr. Williams was, I don't think he knew it was, no. <laughs> this was because I was a council. Anyway, he was there uh, and issued the permit virtually on the spot. And I thought, that's pretty good, that's it. It is. We provide a very high level of service and the education that we provide to the farmers about how best yeah, to yeah. burn and I think that's why we haven't spent um, our firefighting budget this year because um, I think that education is working. Mm -hmm. But no, we can't make you that promise. <laughs> I'm so sad. You just made the point, so we haven't spent our firefighting budget this year. Is that, um, is that this current year? Yes, it was reported on in previous reports under Ben. Yes, that, that was right. noted. The 15, yeah. 16 year, not 15, 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. So what happened to that money? Still yeah. sitting there? Yeah. 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 Go, yeah. Go to yeah. it's all yeah. And we wait this next year. Mm. What? Do we? Well, well, you and Bria um. figured we'd be to you at the end of the year plan, and we went right, right, right to that. So if I just clarify what? Thanks um, all right. mention, but there is a um, we have a budget which um, so we can pay um, our rural firefighter contractors if they have to put out a fire. So there is money in our budget yeah. for that. We also have a cost recovery that we we gather most of that, but not all, maybe two thirds of that money back if in the event of a fire from the person whose um, land the fire was on. And both of those budgets have really been touched, and that was reported in things. Report. Through you, Mr. Chair, I have a question as to whether you applied for a, uh, a permit for the um, on page 57 in the middle, in the, in the table, the middle uh, line item there. Was, uh, did you apply for a permit for that? As I just told you, I'm not aware of what happens in my neighbourhood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Mr. Chair, if you have a uh, recommendation too, could include it as amended if um, Council is comfortable with the DIA report, even though noting I'm going to have to make some changes. If they're uncomfortable, particularly because the Council of Gash has asked for some que queries, um, we can bring that to the next Council agenda if need be. We could, um, if you want, because we need to get that reported, we could share that with you prior email. Thank you. Okay. I'll put the recommendation on page 59 that the report be received, and um, the second one that that report also be received is to remember. With, with, with the amendment. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm happy to move um, 1, 2, and number 3. But a notice of motion is lodged to review the current South Bakere District by dog bylaw and to discuss the opportunity of a set of separate bylaws for Tukurua Taru Arapini Tina. Thank you. Uh, is there a second? Councillor yeah. uh, McGill. All those in favour, please say aye. Or to the contrary, no. That's carried. Through you, Mr. Chair, if I may just uh, put a clarification, would you like to set up that process for the workshop prior to the elections? Yeah. 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 Yeah.